the desk is a little uh, messy right now, so excuse that if you will. Um, here is the M404A2 fuse as used in the 3.5 inch rockets for the US Super Bazooka. It of course replaced the M404A1 fuse as you can see it says fuse comma rocket and then BD for base detonating if it's one of the uh, actual training fuses it'll say fuse comma rocket comma dummy instead so these are uh, these are pretty ingeniously simple in a way so I thought it would be cool to make a video about that so this would normally throw under the warhead like this and then you'd have your motor back here so this is the end of course aiming towards the warhead in this case a dummy normally you'd have of course the actual igniter and booster charge the explosive charge within so you can see there is we've got a pin here we've got these sleeves and it'll focus we've got a small firing pin here which is on this this triangle here and a small copper spring so the way this works is before the launcher is loaded you take off this safety band and you have this ejection pin or bore writing pin it's uh, written as both in the documentation and this spring is a little messed up by the way so you can see that but so basically what happens is when it's got the safety cap on you can see how that collar there sticks through that hole in the sleeve so that sleeve cannot move forward or back while the safety band's on. And once you remove the safety band, well, normally the spring would push it out more. And the other collar then, once again, holds the sleeve from moving forward or back. So what happens is, when it's loaded into the launcher, it's going to sit at an intermediate height here. So it won't catch on the sleeve anymore. And when you take it out of the launcher, of course, it would pop back and thus become fully safe again. So what happens here is you've got it loaded. It's intermediate position here. And when you launch, you've got such an incredible amount of uh, acceleration inertia that that sleeve is going to be able to go back and when that sleeve goes back what will happen is after the rocket exits the launcher you can see how that collar it would want to go out this this uh this safety pin now that it's no longer being held in by the launcher tube would want to go out and with the sleeve down out of the way this will just fly to the launcher this will now be armed at this point and when you actually strike a target you're obviously going to have this whole assembly fly forward if we can get to focus again and what will happen is it will sort of clamp down on those ends in the slot there those triangle ends and so that'll just sort of lift it out obviously without the safety pin in the way so this firing pin then is free to fling out and hit the igniter and booster charge which would then hit your actual explosive charge which in case of the uh, heat rounds would be composition B and then that would uh, propel your copper cone, and there you go. So, 
That's also, uh, I believe, used on the phos white phosphorus rounds as well. So that's a uh, real neat little tidbit. When you're uh, looking at <clears throat> the various training rockets you'll find floating around, you can easily identify them between one of these actual fuses and one of the training fuses, not only by the markings here and here, but there will be a, uh, a sort of set screw on the training fuses that these do not have.